Okay, this is Titus and Shandy's furnace and heat pump. So this is six years old and put it in correctly. So coil of course needs to go on the bottom, furnace on top. We'll have to probably extend these line sets to get it to where it needs to actually sit. It does have an existing base can and filter rack. We'll do a new condensation pump. New condensation for the coil part. This isn't even glued in. I've got our thermostat wires coming in from the line set right here. Power is coming in right here and then goes up over the duct. I do want to add another return duct somewhere off of this and then into one of these between the studs here. Um, just attach it and leave the grill because they're going to build this wall. Um, that way they've got, you know, I don't know what they're going to be cutting on the drywall side of things and we can keep the furnace breathing as it should because there's only two returns and they share the same duct. Um, so line set looks good. We're going to replace the furnace, the coil is electric. Uh, this one's a little undersized and of course the heat pump outside. So it is in the basement when you come down the stairs is right through this big entryway. And you'll see the, the framing for the wall and the furnace sits right there. So our coil should be a little smaller than that. We'll have more of a supply plenum. Or we can maybe shorten the base can a bit to, to get us what we need. Like I said, I do want to add another return duct on the side and bring it around close to that chimney and come through the stud here or wrap it around and come through wherever. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just keep it up high so nobody's walking into it. We should be good to go. So there's your furnace coil. 